it varies between horses, but those are two main landmarks. You're going more towards the dorsal aspect and slightly caudal from it. So you can see a ridge along there. And basically we're going to step off the back of the tuber coxa. It's more like the wing of ilium, actually. So a bleb where your jam sheet is going to go in. Then this is a one and a half inch needle. Go all the way down to the wing of the ilium. And what I do is... I'm just injecting local and getting an idea of the contour of the bone so I know how my jam sheety tip is going to behave when it touches it. Is it going to slide along or is it going to dig nicely in there? So that's ready to go. So I go in slightly on a ventral also ventral angle just to start with to get purchase in the bone and when I've got purchase then I alter it to a horizontal plane Sometimes you can appreciate that it gets a little bit easier to, to push in. And I find that's when it's arrived in the bone marrow cavity. And that's it. I try and mix while we're doing this because that heparin is toxic to the cells. So if you can encourage it to mix, that'll hopefully preserve them a bit better because they are really fragile. Okay. no anticoagulant in it so we need to be fairly rapid about getting it into the citrate vials that's, that's probably fine if you pop those down somewhere grab a couple of tubes yeah. getting a good collection here These ones you have to shape vigorously and okay. clot quickly. Okay. 